Estimates show that as many as two in three kids have a strong fear of needles. With vaccine season upon us, what if we could turn nightmares into unicorn dreams? We know that a lot of people hate needles. So for this video, we're going to replace all the needles with unicorns. It's not just us trying to replace needles. Scientists are trying to do it for real. No more needles. Not with unicorns, though. Needles, what? or uh, unicorns, have been used for centuries. Let's go back to ancient Greece. We're talking about around the 8th century BC. Then, hollow reeds were used to apply oil to the body. I know a reed isn't actually a needle, but close enough. Unicorn, please! The idea of the needle evolved over time. In 1853, a doctor in Scotland combined a needle and a syringe to give us the injection technique that we use today. Ahem, excuse me. As I was saying, we've used needles forever. But why? Well, according to medical experts, a needle gives a direct access to muscle tissue. Tissue that is rich in blood and cells to help deliver the vaccine. Something called an immune response is triggered. That's because a vaccine delivers a small dose of what the body is being taught to recognize. This helps the person's body to learn to fight back if they catch it later on. But is there really no other way to trigger that immune response? You know, something that doesn't involve a knee. Unicorn? Let me tell you about needleless vaccines. Listen, a lot of these new vaccines are experimental and will take time. And some are not as effective as needle vaccines yet. But alternatives to needles include a nasal vaccine for the flu. You just spray the vaccine up your nose. Patch vaccines, also known as vaccine maps or micro needle patches. These patches dissolve on your skin as the body absorbs the vaccine. Oh, and another kind. If you thought unicorns were out of this world, wait until you hear about needle-free microjet injectors. Huh? These have a high power jet of liquid that moves fast enough to go through your skin. See that? That liquid is moving 100 kilometers an hour. Sounds intense, but it's supposed to inject the vaccine without pain. So, are these vaccines available now? Some are. Others are hard to find or need more research and testing. It doesn't hurt to ask your doctor what options are available to you. Now I can sleep a little bit easier knowing that the future may be unicorn free. You know what I mean. That is all for CBC Kids News. I'm Sabah Vaid Yusufi and thank you for watching.